Hi Capricorn, my name is JC of the Mindful Awakening and these are your messages for the month of July. If these messages resonate with you, please make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell so you'll be told of when I drop another video. Please also keep in mind that energy and time is fluid so the messages might be reversed. And if it doesn't resonate with you right now, check out your moon and your rising sign videos for some additional messages. All right, show us what we need to see for Capricorn signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of July. What do our Capricorns need to see? Show us what our Capricorns need to see for the month of July. We're gonna be pulling from the Light Series Tarot deck clarifying with um, the light series tarot as well and then pulling a grounding energy using the lemuria oracle show us what we need to see for capricorn signs hmm. show us what we need to see for capricorn signs sun moon and rising for the month of July. Show us one more card. Capricorns. Oh boy. All right, Cappies. So it looks like you guys are juggling multiple things in your life right now with the Two of Pentacles upright this could be you juggling two job opportunities this could be you juggling uh, between work life and personal life this could be you juggling work where you make most of your uh, main income versus a side hustle with the two pentacles upright this is um, the struggle to make everyone in your life happy to make yourself happy and to also give your time and attention equally to multiple things that matter to you you could also be dealing with a fire sign. We have the King of Wands in reverse. This is uh, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, I'm also getting here with the Hermit card in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. If you are dealing with a fire sign, it could be that um, you're no longer cocooning yourself from a situation that could have been painful in your past. Uh, and if it's not painful, I almost feel like this person, this fire sign that you are dealing with has a tendency to kind of take you out of your game, um, makes you second guess things, uh, confuses you. And so as a result, if this is an ex, like an ex fire sign or someone that's not necessarily a person that you want in your space every day. Um, I feel like you've taken time away from this person to kind of just like protect your energy uh, because this person is triggering for you. This fire sign makes you forget um, the things that are really important. Important. This fire sign uh, may also have a tendency to cloud your judgment. Um, this person triggers you so you have a challenging time accessing your intuition um, and as a result you've taken time away to like i said protect your energy with the hermit card in reverse and the high priestess in reverse however i think you're coming out of this period of separation you're coming out of a period of protecting yourself from this person um could be someone from work could be someone from work With the Nine of Swords upright and the Eight of Swords upright, this person, I don't get good vibes from this individual Capricorn. Whoever this fire sign is, um, I just don't think your dynamic has um, been good for you in the past. I'm getting like a lot of self-preservation energy, protecting your, your, your vibe from this person. Um, with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, uh, you're not really trapped by this vibe anymore. This person reminds you of a time in your life that maybe was painful and not the best time for you in terms of your own agency. 
in terms of your ability to manifest uh, the life that you want. And with this resurgence of this person uh, attempting to come back in, I think this is a moment in time for you to recognize how far you've come since you've decided to protect yourself, prioritize yourself and step back from this individual. Um, recognize as well that the mental prison that you think you are in um, is all an, an illusion. None of this is real. Although this person is so triggering and it brings back a lot of painful memories, you are no longer held back and unable to move forward from this position. With the Seven of Pentacles upright, um, it's time for you to watch your hard work manifest itself in your 3D life. You've done a lot of work since separation and slowly but surely you're regaining all this confidence back, this belief in yourself. Um, this person's opinions are no longer bothersome towards you. Um, I do see here with the Nine of Wands, maybe uh, you're no longer concerned with being defensive. You're no longer concerned with having to prove anything to anybody. Um, with the Ace of Swords upright, um, what I will say is don't go down that rabbit hole. This person is extremely triggering. I'm not sure who this is going to resonate with, but I do feel like a fire sign from your past may be or an energy associated to a fire sign from your past has really been an influencing factor, like a major factor influencing your transformation over this past while. And I think you're really starting to see how you are able to separate from the stuff that happened with this person because you, A, you're not that person anymore. I feel like this is past energy. This happened a long time ago. You are not the same person you were before. Anything that happened with this individual that made you second guess your worth, that made you feel like you weren't good enough or you couldn't ever manifest your dreams, someone who possibly talked down on you for quite some time, uh, really was damaging to your self-worth. Um, you took a step back from this person. You did a lot of self-healing. It's time for you to reap the benefits of this self-healing. You are no longer concerned with defending uh, yourself, defending your thoughts, your beliefs, your opinions, but with the Ace of Swords um, upright, don't overthink this situation. If this person comes back into your space and they energetically don't feel good, don't overthink the situation. There doesn't have to necessarily be a transformation with the Death card in reverse. Um, in terms of your relationship status. Now, I don't necessarily think this is a love situation. I think this could have been um, a friend or a colleague, just a, even a family member, like a cousin, um, someone that you, uh, someone that was important to you at one time. For some, it could be an ex, but with the death card in reverse, you don't necessarily have to let this person back in your life. Recognize what the trigger is. I'm getting recognized what the trigger is. What is it that you had to learn from this situation? Because you've come a long way. But when you think about this individual, I think they're still very triggering for you. Um, and that's that's a dangerous place to be in because it starts um, acting as like roadblocks in terms of uh, what you see for yourself and what you think you're capable of doing um, and creating in your life. I'm gonna pull some clarifications cards on the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords upright. What is this painful energy that's causing you to lose sleep, that's making you feel trapped? What do we need to know about this energy? I feel like this is the energy that's keeping you tied to the past. Yeah, so it's an enlightenment. You're With the Hierophant card upright and the Two of Cups, you need to learn something about this. There's some sort of spiritual journey, spiritual growth um, that you have been going through, again, with the Seven of Pentacles. Once you left this person and you cut ties with them, you started to take back your uh, energy and really focus on yourself. With the Four of Cups in reverse, no longer paying attention to this person's multiple attempts to try to come back into your life, you are recognizing here that there's something to learn 
in this situation. You needed to ascend, you needed to evolve um, in order for you to be able to connect, connect uh, with another individual on a deep soul level. I'm gonna pull on this two of cups. Can we get some extra clarification? Who is this Capricorn connecting with? Who is this Capricorn connecting with? Cause I'm feeling like after a period of negativity, pain, heartbreak, uh, hurt feelings, like a very difficult time, you could be ready now to form a connection. Who are we forming this connection with? Two of Cups. Mm. I don't think you're ready for this connection. I think someone from your past, someone from your past that was bringing a bunch of just not good energy, you know on an intuitive level, you know on an intuitive level that this person is not good for you. Um, this person is not good for you. What's happening here now is I think they're coming back and trying to give you a peace offering, uh, trying to reconcile, trying to tell you that they have changed, but you are not interested in this. You don't want to open up this door to this person because they still make you feel a particular type of way. And you can recognize now that giving another opportunity to this person is just not something you are interested in. That ship sailed a long time ago, but for this person, uh, it hasn't sailed yet and they're trying it. They are trying it, Capricorn, and you're just, you're not having it. With the star in reverse, uh, you don't have hope for this situation. In fact, with the five of cups upright, you're done listening to this person. You're done listening to all the apologies. Uh, with the Hierophant upright, it's almost as if you're saying, thank you so much for this apology. I appreciate it. No, this is not an opening for you to come and disrupt the peace I have in my life that I've worked really hard to have. So thank you. Bye. Next is really what I'm getting from this. With the two of swords upright though, um, you don't have to choose. You're not trapped by choice. This person brings back nostalgic energy, absolutely. But remember why they made you feel the way you felt. And is that something you really wanna reconnect with once again? Okay, let's pull some clarification cards. What do we feel we are trapped by? with the two of swords. I wasn't going to, but I don't know. Intuitively, I'm feeling like we should know. What do you feel trapped by? What do you feel you need to choose from Capricorn with the two of swords? It's like you don't know what to choose. You don't know which path to take. Should I forgive this person? Should I not? Wow, we have the justice card upright. Yep, karmic situation. This person this person needs to get what's coming to them. <laughs> you know, like things have to be set right because some stuff happened in your past with this individual, with this individual who made you feel like just another option. Uh, could be that they had a lot of other people in the space when the two of you were connecting. Um, with the world card in reverse and justice upright though, there needs to be a balance, a karmic balance to this connection with this individual from your past who is making a comeback again. Yep. You would like justice to be served, but there's a learning lesson here. Oftentimes people come back from our past in order to see if we've learned the lesson. I almost feel like with the world card up here, you're being tested. Have you learned your lesson? Channel the Hierophant energy. You are above this now. You have already ascended. And maybe that's part of the lesson that you need to learn here. It's okay to forgive and, and then release. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to forgive this person uh, for whatever happened and allow them back into your life. I'm really feeling here, protect yourself. Protect yourself from this person. All right, let's pull an overall grounding energy message using our Lemuria deck. Can we get some final guidance for our Capricorn signs? Sun, moon, and rising for the month of July. Can we get final overall messages for Capricorn? We have vulnerability. 
When we are truly honest with ourselves in all of our facets, we are vulnerable. That honesty is an important step in discovering our shadows and bringing them to the light for healing. When we share our vulnerabilities with others, we allow them to glimpse a deeper part of ourselves. Be vulnerable with yourself and others. It might be time to step into the role of healer and hold space. Holding space means being fully present without judgment in a way that provides a safe and nurturing environment. Here, guards are dropped and a deeper level of awareness and relating can unfold and profound healing takes place. That could be exactly what you're doing here. I think if this person is coming back around full circle and attempting to own their role in something that broke down, uh, the lesson here could be holding space from the empty from a place of empty and meaningless and not attaching anything to a particular outcome and just waiting to see what they have to say and then choosing from there balanced forces last card the lemurian people are said to have been excuse me androgynous a perfect balance of what became masculine and feminine energy as it densified in physical form this card invites you to look at masculine and feminine energy from a more balanced perspective. What needs to happen to form a more holistic and equalized foundation? For more masculine drive and focus, concentrate on goals, desires, and ambitions. If you want to engage in more feminine energy for receptivity, trust, flow, and surrender, consider all the things that you are already grateful for. Feeling the warmth and gratitude and comfort of knowing everything is divinely perfect just the way it is. So Capricorns, this is going to be an interesting month for you. A lot of reconciling old past energy as a quick recap for what to expect. Um, could have been someone you were related to in terms of work, someone you worked with, uh, someone that you invested a lot of time into. Uh, could have been that you were juggling at one point um, multiple things, including a fire sign from your past. This situation with this fire sign turned out for the worst. It made you want to take your energy back um, and get to know yourself a little bit better through the Hermit card and the High Priestess. Now, you are finally taking a step out of this. Could be because this person is deciding to come back into your life, but you don't have good feelings associated with this individual. With the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords both upright, this is a stressful situation, a stressful person, and you have your guard up. You don't really know if you want to even hear what this person has to say to you. With the Seven of Pentacles upright, you've worked really hard to plant some new seeds and to move on from a particular situation with this fire sign. With the Nine of uh, Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords upright, careful that you don't fall down the rabbit hole overthinking the situation about why you think this person is back what you think you need to learn from this, what you think you need to do. Just take it for what it is. And with the nine of wands in reverse, you don't need to defend yourself or the choices you are making. You don't owe anyone an explanation, especially not this person. I don't get the best vibes from this person. Okay, you needed to learn something from this uh, disconnection. Um, with the Two of Cups upright and the Four of Cups in reverse, someone may be giving you a peace offering or trying to reconcile or trying to reconnect with you. Uh, however, you don't necessarily want that anymore. I think uh, with the Star card in reverse, this is a hopeless situation. You know that. With the Five of Cups, it just sounds like another sob story to you. Um, and it just feels like, all right, how many times are you going to apologize for something I'm off this. I don't even want to listen to this anymore. With the Two of Swords, however, I think you can be a little bit confused trying to understand why this person is even attempting to make a comeback now. With the Hierophant upright, you're being called to remember that this is part of your spiritual journey. Remember that you have already ascended from this situation. And this person might be coming back to remind you of the fact that uh, you're above this now. This is in the past. You're above this now. You don't need to revisit it anymore. This was a person who breadcrumbed you. You were one of many, or you were always juggled or not treated seriously. Um, this is a karmic situation, could have been a karmic relationship. You want justice to be served. You want the apology that you never got from before. You want this person to be held accountable, but, but the karmic lesson out of this could possibly be that 
um, you have full sovereignty over your life and any choice that you make. And in spite of this person saying sorry or not saying sorry, coming back or not coming back, you get to choose the outcome. You get to choose what to do next. You're not trapped by anything. You're not bound by anything. The karmic situation in this is just sometimes people are better left in the past. And this could just be a test to see whether or not you have fully shut that door and are fully ready to step into uh, this next chapter of your life. Careful, Capricorn. <laughs> I just did my Mindful Mondays as well. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out for the energy of this week. And I'm getting very sim similar energy here with past people coming back, past people trying to um, make... Uh, old situations better um it's a lot of karma that's going around right now and a lot of karma balancing so if this message resonated with you stay strong wait until this month is over don't make any big movements prioritize yourself because uh this person is really going to trigger you all right all right capricorn take care and i will catch you all in my next video bye